the bread kitchen. This week I'm going to make something that's very simple but very Moorish. Scottish oat cakes. So I start with 115 grams of oatmeal. Now I didn't have any oatmeal but I did have some rolled oats. So I put them in my food processor, whisk them for about a minute and voila! Oatmeal! Now I'll add a quarter of a teaspoon of salt, a pinch of bicarbonate of soda, then I'll add a tablespoon of melted butter, it's about half an ounce or 12 grams, and add in four tablespoons of hot water. Now I'll mix this to a dough. Now you might find you need to add a little bit more water, and my advice is to add it a teaspoon at a time, and mix. What you should end up with is a dough that's quite stiff, but presses together well and doesn't crumble. Now I've put the dough on a surface and I'm just going to knead it by sort of scrunching it and squishing it, really to make sure that it's all well mixed and nice and smooth. I formed the dough into a ball and I'll just cut it in half. Now I'm going to roll it out carefully to about six inches in diameter. So that's about six inches in diameter. It's about a quarter of an inch thick. I'm going to cut it into four. And each quarter is called a farl. Nothing to do with curries. All right. Now take a flat bottom pan and grease it lightly. I'm using butter, but you could use oil and turn on to a low heat. Now using a spatula, very carefully lift up one of the files and transfer to the pan. Now we'll cook these over a low heat for four to five minutes. After four or five minutes, carefully turn them over and cook on the other side for a further two or three minutes. Once the files are cooked, Remove from the pan and pop on a plate to cool. Then you can roll out the other half of the dough and make four more files. Once cooked and cooled, they should be nice and crispy. Enjoy with a really flavourful cheese for a delicious snack. The key to this is getting just enough moisture in your dough that it doesn't crack and fall apart when you roll it out. I'm off to have my lunch now. I hope you enjoy making your Scottish oat cakes and do join me next time in the bread kitchen.